Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mr. No More Tripod because I realized it makes my videos boring as shit. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the Techie Toys 2021-22 Exterminator. This prop came out in 2021, although honestly, I consider it more within the pantheon of 2022 props, considering the fact that it was pretty much nowhere to be found in 2021. It wasn't on the website, the listing to buy him online didn't work, there was barely any Halloween cities in 2021, and even out of those Halloween cities, barely any of them got this guy. It, it, it was a mess. So I more or less con consider him to be in the pantheon of 2022s. Um, he retailed for 180 when he came out. Fantastic price. This year, his price was raised to 260 Awful fucking price. Um, I actually have his box over here, and uh, I have a 2021 model, technically, kind of, I think. Um, and it's funny, because you can look right here where it says 259 99 under that sticker is the 180.99 sticker, which is unfortunate. Also, here's his box. It is stupidly large. Um, for a good comparison, here's Grimsley's box, who, you know, Grimsley is seven feet tall. Yeah, it's really big. Also, I think Exterminator might genuinely be the heaviest prop that I own. Maybe tied with Cagey. I don't know. Specifically Cagey when he's holding the cage, obviously. Um, <laughs> but Exterminator is stupidly heavy, mainly because of the flamethrower and the mask. Uh, but his metal is also really beefy. So, he's overall built very well. His setup is kind of weird, but that's kind of to be expected from Techie. Um, on mine... It has an issue where the snap lock that keeps the flamethrower onto the little thing, it doesn't actually snap in. So whenever I try to put it on there, it would end up falling, it would end up sliding off of the piece and then he would end up catching it with his actual hands. Uh, so what I ended up doing was, it, I just had, I just duct taped it on there and it works. Um, but overall, his build is extremely solid. Uh, and yeah, his setup is basically, it's like... I don't know it's weird to explain it was very similar to torture box except torture box's setup was like much more simple because there was like four parts he had to put in uh but exterminator it, it's fine i think mine is just a little fucky but anyway um he has a light sensor and a sound sensor like basically any techie product except for like fucking harvester of souls um and he comes with the uh, fog tube and the adapter to go from his control box to the fog machine. And then he also comes with another adapter that can adapt that adapter to like cheaper fog machines that aren't this type with the skeleton on top of it. Um, he is menacing as all hell, honestly. I think out of any prop that I've seen, or at least any prop that I own, I think he has the best filled out body. It looks eerily human <laughs> he's so bulky also he's like six foot three approximately i think with the fact that he's on carpet it lowers him a bit because he sinks in there but he's he's tall and he's big that's why i had to put him where nozzles is and shove nozzles over here uh yeah he's fucking great <laughs> but yeah i I love this guy so much. He's so badass. Uh, anyway, I'll turn him on now. Uh, I have his fog plugged in, so it'll blast down here. And I'll have to turn a fan on to uh, air it out a little bit. Because I had I had it on with the nozzles review as well. Also, his like control box is in his ass. And because of how good quality and thick this costume is, it's kind of hard to turn him on. Uh, it's kind of hard to activate him. I think that's in the on position. There we go. His lines are so fucking great. I love his voice so much, dude. Oh my god, his audio is fantastic. Also, his motion sensor, or the light sensor, is pretty good, actually. 
Come on. Usually, anyway. There you go. Closer. Something I love is how the lights work in his flamethrower. And then after he shoots it out, it slowly dims. And the one inside the barrel pretty much stays on the whole time. Hey, don't trespassing. It flickers very slightly when he's on. Uh... He definitely uses up less fog per activation than Nozzles does, uh, which is not, oh my god, that's so fucking sick, which is nice because with the Nozzles, he has to, oh my god, he has to, uh, like, recharge the fog machine every three or, like, every six activations or so, the fog machine has to take a rest so it can heat up more fog, uh, but with Exterminator, he has to do that a bit less because he doesn't pump out as much, which is nice. Never mind. I thought he usually had to do it less. He only made it for, through like four phrases. And now it has to recharge. But eh, whatever. Um, also, interestingly enough, there is actually a button on his control box that can control the... You know how um, Nozzles has on his fog controller? He has a switch. So either the fog will run constantly or it'll run to his programming. Uh, fucking Exterminator here has something somewhat similar, where it's an actual button on his control box, and it says it's labeled Relay Switch, and that will, uh, turn on and off the programming for the fog machine. So you can just kind of have it run if you want to. At least I think that's what it does. I haven't pressed it. Um, but yeah, his mechanism is pretty similar to Wacky's, although... Surprisingly, Exterminators is actually a bit more, like, condensed. Because instead of uh, Wacky, where his motor is, like, uh, near his dick for the old models, near his ass for the new models, for mine, it's near his, uh, his, near his ass, because I modified the hell out of him. Hi. It definitely needs less time to recharge than Nozzles. But anyway, um, with Wacky, yeah, uh, but with Exterminator, it's pretty much inside of his hip, so it's a lot less, uh, big, but the turn radius is, like, huge. He turns a lot, but he doesn't turn, like, very quickly. Also, his motor is super loud, but that's kind of to be expected because techie, and it has to carry an insane fucking load. Like, this guy is heavy as shit. Like, he's more front-heavy than both, like, Charlie and fucking Wacky combined. He might even be, like, competing with KG when it comes to how front-heavy he is. Uh, although with KG, he has a bit more support. With Exterminator, he stands straight up. But regardless, he's built very solid, so I doubt he's gonna snap. But my point is, is that mechanism has to carry so much weight, so... Like closer and then activate him. You better get out of here. Anyway, yeah, I'll go up a little bit closer and activate him a couple more times. The lightness helmet is awesome. I like it a lot. Don't come any further. Okay, you ask for it. <laughs> also. The way his fog machine secures on, and I'm pretty sure Techie does this for all their fog props, but it is, like, leagues better than with, with Nozzles, because how Nozzles secures on, it, like, falls off every two seconds, but with Exterminator, it actually clips on there, 
and then the fog hose just goes into the back of the gun. So it's overall like a bit more conveniently designed. However, it's more, it's difficult to hide because there's not much of a way to get it through his clothes, but it doesn't really matter. You can just put the fog machine behind him and it'll look fine. Um, yeah, that's really about all there is to say. Definitely pick him up. Um, he's a bit expensive, but Party City coupons work at Halloween City, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's what I used. I used a Party City coupon and they were like, yeah, it's okay. We can just override it and we'll make sure it works. So yeah, that's kind of what I did to get this guy. Dropped him down to like 230 or so. But anyway, yeah, I heavily recommend him. Uh, I'll give him one more activation and then yeah.